Hey friends, so today we're going to be re uh, reviewing the Crazy Claws um, cat toy. Uh, this is a, like a bungee game um, sort of toy for your cats. And so we're going to play with it today and see how much they like it. So now that we've taken it from the box, it's um, the string is made out of elastic, like a, like a bungee sort of elastic cord. And there's a little bell on it and feathers and it has a little place right here that you can put um, catnip in. There's no catnip in it right now but um, I'm going to see if they're interested in it even without the catnip. So let's see. Yep, it looks like it looks like Snickers doesn't really care if there's catnip or not. Snickers has always been um, the most playful one when it comes to like activities that you gotta like move around and stuff. Uh, Truffles is not so much. If she can do things without having to move, she'll do it, but that's pretty much as far as it go. And <laughs> S'mores seems to be like a coin toss. Sometimes she'll go for it, sometimes she won't. Truffles seems to be more of the observer type, just like watching other people play with toys, rather than other cats play with toys, rather than herself. She's like the cat version of watching Let's Play videos. <laughs> Come on, Truffles. Right up. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Huh. She doesn't usually play with toys like this, so I'm pretty surprised that she's really giving... I think it might be the feathers. This and the, um, those bird wands. She loves those. Maybe that's why. So anyways, it has a bell at the end of it. Um, the toy is made from, like, a stuffing. Uh, you can, like, it's, like, just stuffing here. There's, a uh, like a few feathers are attached to it in a little pocket. I don't know if I can get it open with one hand. But there's like a little pocket to put um, catnip in and the the edge has like this plastic ring so you can put your finger through it. Um, but there's like a lot of string so I usually just like wrap it around some fingers because otherwise I'm afraid that they'll pull the thing like right off of the string, like that they'll rip the string. It's happened with other toys before, so I'm a little more weary about about toys like this with like such a long string. They'll try to carry it upstairs or something. So yeah, that's, uh, the cats, oh, the cats also seem to like this toy. If you have experience with this toy, let me know, um, you know, how your cats played with it in the comments, and how much they like it. Okay, I see her favorite part is the feathers. Come on. Yeah, gotta clean those feathers. Uh, so yeah, this seems to have gotten good <laughs> good results with the cats. I mean, Snickers here likes it so much she's not willing to let go. So Snickers approves. All right. Well, oh. yeah, it's like a little. 
Okay. Okay, no more eating this. Um, as with everything, <laughs> this is the reason why you have to make sure you supervise your cats. <laughs> you supervise your cats when they play, because otherwise they'll try to eat it. She's just not letting go. Here we go. Come on. I'm playing like tug of war over here. Come on. Alright, well, I think I'm going to need both hands to wrestle this out of her, so let me know your experiences down in the comments. This is what remained of poor Mr. Uh, Flamingo after the great snickering of 2016. Um, one eye is about to go. Uh, the feathers are just completely soaked, and half of his little sparkly feather just just got ripped off. There it is. So, um, I mean, Stinkers really likes it. She's uh, a little more intense with her playing um, than the other two can be. She likes chewing on things. Uh, so every time when something has stuffing in it, I make sure... Oh, okay. I make sure to supervise her with toys that have stuffing in it because she does have a form of pika. Um... <laughs> the way she's eyeballing this toy. She really likes it. Okay, well that's it for real this time. Um, see you next time.